Tow and ready there, Gordon. Quarter deck to the bridge. You have permission to launch the USV. One ready, over. Science at Sea is a heart-pumping project. Get that hook up! With the Navy crew trying to launch Kevin Wilcox's remote-controlled boat. Once we get free, we'll take her back. But our boat gets too close to the bow. Whoa! 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 Sorry about that. We were, like, getting right underneath the transom. I didn't want anybody's, like, head getting hit. The unmanned surface vehicle is part of the University of New Brunswick's Ocean Mapping Group. It even has a mascot, Pingachu. So ping like a sonar. The most important is the sonar that's underneath. And so that essentially sends a pulse of sound down to the seafloor. A hundred times a minute, creating a picture of the bottom of the sea. So we have a map uh, over here that has data that's oh, wow. been collected from other groups. So I'm essentially going to be driving uh, the USV back and forth and essentially painting in this area of the seafloor. As the Antarctic warms and the glaciers dump more fresh water into the salty seawater, scientists want to know what happens to ocean life. This work fits into a bigger picture. Only about 25% of the world's oceans are mapped and there's a push on to get it all done. But as you can see, it's incremental and challenging. On shore, it may not look like much, but this connects to an undersea cable, part of an observatory which reads the ocean's vitals, temperature, pressure and salinity every day. And so that um, was put in by um, Ocean Networks Canada in a collaboration uh, with, the, with the Spanish for this, uh, this location. The Yellow Explorer is working away. The seabed map is starting to fill in, but suddenly, trouble. Surprisingly, there's kelp here, um, which... Um, Who knew? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so that got um, caught up in my motors, essentially. And we've cleared that, but unfortunately, they're still not responding. Attempts to fix it fail. So it's back to Mothership to triage the problem. And he still has to get his vehicle back on board the Margaret Brook. Okay, heads up to the boat. You must be the water. Safely stored. Turns out it was just a fuse. He's relieved. All the challenges, I, I do it all over again. <laughs> Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Espanola Cove, Antarctica.